What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So I know I'm a mess, but I wanted to show you something on your vinyl cutter, AKA uh, Sign Master software. So just a couple things, I just started the process of, this is gonna be for the back window of my little DoorDash car that I'm always in, but um, it's gonna default up here to uh, layout, page setup is gonna be not landscape, so you see how that, I go to accept. See, that's gonna be the uh, the default. Most things just don't seem to fit in there and you can make them big, you can make it bigger. But um, I just right away go up to page layout. And up here, or page setup, page, or layout and then page setup. And then I just click uh, accept. Uh, you can in that section go to layout page setup and then you can change the the width and the length of the actual page itself I don't recommend doing that because it helps to be able to see your actual project so what you can do is if you're just here uh, this by the way is the button to be able to click stuff and like if you're trying to move stuff or anything like that, I'll put that right back where it was. But, um, and then if you want to undo that arrow right there to put it exactly where it was. The page, make sure you're not clicked on an item. So if you click here, your dimensions and everything up here are not going to actually affect anything other than this thing that is highlighted. So click outside the box. Now it's gonna give you your page. See the little page diagram there? Now if I need that page to be bigger, which to understand this, right now this item here is eight and a half by 11. Obviously that's the size of like something like that. That's not gonna work for the back of my car. So when I actually weld all this together as one unit and get it all finished and everything, I will go here and I will adjust it to whatever size that I want the actual item to be and then I'll just bring this item in bigger. So to explain this a little bit easier so I can shut up. If it's gonna be like 24 by 36, I'll type in 24 right there. And then when I push enter, you'll see that background, AKA the cut size is gonna get a lot bigger. So now, obviously my tiny little logo is not gonna fit in there. And I'm not gonna go into how to fix that right now, but I am gonna show you, let me see if I can scan out a little bit. I am gonna show you if I want it to be 24 inches wide by 36 inches tall. Actually, would it be 24 inches tall? No, it'd probably be 24. Now that's gonna adjust it again by 36. So it'd be a little bit different because it's a car window. So 36 and then we'll delete all those zeros. So that cutting space is if I fit it exactly to that space, that's gonna be 24 inches wide by 36 inches, or I'm sorry, 36 inches wide by 24 inches tall. Now I'll show you why, by the way, if you haven't, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and ask questions if you have one. The reason being, it's gonna go on the back of this car the window is wider than it is tall, so it'll be 24 tall, 36 wide. So, that's kind of the whole purpose. Sorry, I had to come back in. There's a semi pulling up. I didn't want to ruin my video or kill you with noise. But that was just a cool little thing. Um, the other thing, and I'm just going to undo all this to go back to where I was. The other thing that I thought was pretty cool is... If you're on text or you're on this button here, which is like the select, if you wanna take anything and you need to move it or anything, you can't be on text. So you, if you're on tech, if you're highlighted the text, that means you wanna operate in text. When you're doing a bunch of stuff like this, it's kind of annoying. So just a little quick side little tip, 
that I wanted to show you that I thought was really cool was if you're on text and you want to be on select, just come away from that, double click. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> so, double click. Okay, it's not working. Okay, I screwed that up. Okay, <laughs> wrong way, sorry. So if you're on the select button and you want to be on text, you can just double click it and it goes to that, the text button. So if you're on select, double click, boom, text. So you don't have to, because if you single click it, look, if you single click it, it won't go to it, but if you fast click it, it does. You're not thoroughly more confused than you were when you came here. But I just wanted to show you like the page layout design and stuff. Otherwise, when you go to print this, it's gonna be a tiny little logo or a size of an eight by 10 frame and it's not gonna work for your car or banner or anything. I am gonna do a couple banners pretty soon because I have not tackled that yet. And it is like a hundred and something dollars to do the banner, but if I order it myself, uh, the banner is like 26 bucks on Amazon. Um, and uh, I will put the vinyl cutter and the link in the description below that I use. And also maybe some vinyls that I've used in the past that I do like. There are some, the, the ones that come with the actual vinyl cutter absolutely suck. Just throwing it out there. And they are difficult to use. That's why they're free. So, but there is some really good aftermarket stuff out there. I hope that information helps you. And remember, ask questions. I'm not going to be able to answer all the questions, but I'm going to do my best and I'm going to learn as I go. And I am having a, a good time with this. Do not give up. Okay. It is a major learning curve for those of you like myself that have attention problems or just don't have a lot of time or something like that. I went on this beaver cutter and the software multiple, multiple, multiple times. And I wanted to give up every time. Don't give up. You'll get good. I created shirts, um, decals, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, you can do it. Okay. Believe in yourself. Have a good day guys.